I grew up in a little town called Ravenshoe on the Atherton Tablelands, a town of then less than a thousand people. Um, I went to the local primary school um, and I tell this story to a lot of kids who are growing up in, in little towns that just because you grow up in a little town doesn't mean that that, is, that should limit your dreams or your aspirations. So when it came time to think about, you know, what am I going to be when I grow up? You look around and you think, well, who do I know? What can I look at? Uh, what is my model that I, I could think of? And becoming a school teacher became what I decided to do. So that's how I ended up at uh, Townsville College of Advanced Education, which then amalgamated with James Cook University a little bit further down the track. And I've got to say that actually going to Townsville CAE as it was then, if I hadn't have done that, I wouldn't have had the opportunities to do so much uh, that came out of doing that teaching training that, that I did there. That's exactly what college gave me, was an ability to form my own thoughts in a supported way, in a way that allowed me to think and make mistakes and think differently about the world. In a scaffold, which is a teacher training degree, but allowed me to think differently about the world. I mean, I grew up in a fairly conservative community, um, but it allowed me to think about politics in a different way. I became involved in the student union, and that opened my eyes to people who thought differently about the way the world should work. And that was a great opportunity and, and was very formative in my political thinking. Uh, if I hadn't have come across the student union, um, I don't think I would have been a senator in the Australian Parliament. Toward the end of my, uh, my teacher training, I, I all of a sudden thought I didn't want to be a teacher because I could see all this politics out there that was really interesting. Um, and I was convinced by one of the many people in my life that I really thank uh, am thankful for, and that was the Dean of Education. He sat me down and said, no, no, finish your, finish your teacher training. And I'm forever grateful uh, for him to do that. I've now retired from the Senate. Um, do you really retire? Um, of course you, you can't um, and I'm you know I'm still connected into community doing, doing a few things. It's early days yet um, but I you know I want to continue to contribute to, the, to the, our communities in whatever form uh, that might be. Uh, you don't you know you don't turn off. You can't turn off. What I want to say to those young people who are thinking about their future is look over the horizon, look past what you can see, think bigger about what you can do. And just because you live in a little town like Ravenshoe or Georgetown or, you know, Biloela, that doesn't mean that you have to stay within that, that not just community, but that, that space, that, that way of thinking. You know, look over the horizon, think, think big about what you can be. I taught for 10 years and loved it. I actually loved it. But then I went on to do a lot of other things as well. So you will have many careers in your life uh, and enjoy them all and make the most of them all. But take the advice of John Armstrong and finish your training. <laughs>